Hey everyone, what's up? It's Ventus, and I'm here with Fire Emblem Heroes Arena. For this Arena series, every week I pick one or two bonus heroes, and then I build a team around them. This week's team is Anna's. Alright, so that's the intro. Yesterday was a little unfortunate. Uh, yesterday I ran into a pretty bad situation on that bridge map. I really dislike that bridge map, especially when I'm running only one range. Even though I can use them twice, technically, uh, it's, it's still kind of risky. And I'm actually really tempted to switch him out for Gordon now. Because in like almost any situation, I would rather have Gordon. But I mean, I guess the theme was diversity. And I guess if I just strategize better, it should be fine. But anyway, let's get started. Okay, Erica. Erica is the buff master. Oh, jeez. 49 speed, so she actually doubles everyone except for Anna, and Anna's the only one that doesn't want to touch her. Julia? Corrin. Oh, Corrin, mirror match. Are our stats the right. same? No, this is a plus defense minus attack, Corrin. Rip? Here I go. Rip? Oh my god, okay. that, that's actually pretty bad. And Eldigan. Eldigan with lunge. I gotta be careful about that. If I get lunged into range, what happens? Nothing? Lunge puts me there. Which is actually out of range of everyone. Let's see, 31 attack, Fury... I can actually leave Takumi in range. They both have the same attack, but his defense is way higher. I'll have to take him out with Corrin. Right. But Julia's gonna be in range next turn, I think. Because she can walk into one of the forests and then poke me down. So I think Julia dies next turn. I need to make sure I can kill Julia next turn. Most likely going to use go. Anna. So I'm going to move everyone to this side. Eldigan's going to be there. Actually, I could just I could just pull back because he lunges into me like yes. a moron. Here I go. I think this works out. Yes. All right. But if it doesn't, I have a backup plan to take out Julia, and Erica will never be in range next turn. Onward. Corrin, I don't think, is a big threat. And this powers up my vengeance. Oh, crap, right, she has pivot. Oops! She has pivot. Damn it, she actually has pivot. Uh. Wait. Oh, lunge doesn't work because he's a cavalier unit. He can't be lunged into the forest because he can't be in the forest. Okay, we're off to a good start. We're off to a very good start. Complete miscalculation there. If I kite back though, I think I still end up killing everyone. So it should be fine. Let's go. Yeah, that's not a good idea. That's not a good idea either. Actually, no, this might be a good idea. Just to get her in danger range so she can teleport around. Hmm. What do I do then? Eldigan dies for sure, I think, to Corrin. I might be able to do something creative here. Attack with, with uh, what's his name? What's her name? Anna. Drop her down to 28 HP. Takumi deals more than 28, right? 51 minus 23 is 28. That's exact lethal. Holy crap, that's exact lethal. 28 damage from this tile. Then I sing for Anna and use... Anna to kill Julia. 17 defense. Yes. I think that's actually Let's the plan. Go. Wait, what is her defensive move? I probably should have checked that. Because if it's some kind of a barrier move, shield move. Oh, it's Moonbow. Okay, that's fine. Let's go. Exact lethal. <sighs> then Eldigan okay. dies. Then Anna kills Julia. We're off to a, a pretty good start, actually, I think. Ignoring the complete miscalculation, we're off to a pretty good start. Sure. Onward. Easy peasy. Oh, right, because I hit Eldigan, I actually... Uh, lower Corrin's speed and and her attack. 
So because it's minus five speed and we have the same stats except for attack and defense, the irrelevant stats, it's actually Rex or Rip. All right, we're off to a good start. Holy crap. Bouncing back from yesterday's disappointment. Lucina. Uh-oh. I've had my fair share of scary Lucinas. Uh, this one's okay. It's normal. Okay. No skill inheritance this time. So, Dragon versus Lucina? Oh, that's actually a problem, isn't it? I think it's going to have to be Takami attack, Sing attack, and then Corrin kills afterwards. 50 minus... 60 minus 22 yes. is 39. No double. No speed buff? I might let Anna tank, actually. That could be interesting. Oh, you know what I can do? I can kill Sakura now. 51 minus 22 is... 30? 29? That's exactly lethal. Okay. Yes. All right. On it. But then I can't use Lucina and put Lucina in range. Onward. So next turn, I guess. Next turn should be fine because she's gonna run into that and block herself over and over again. All right. Exactly, though. Perfect. <laughs> Alright, so Camilla's range goes up to there only. That means that Lucina will attack me for 38 damage, leave me with 3 HP, and then I can start teleporting around. And I should be able to clear the map really easily after that. S sure. Let's go. Is this for real? Two smooth matchups? The third one's gonna be a difficult one for sure. Otherwise, this is gonna be like a 10 minute arena, which never happens. What's up with that? Yes. Okay, so how do I wanna do this now? I need Takumi to stand here or here, but it's not possible. I need to not be in Tiki's range for sure. Okay, I guess that this part this part's a little complicated. If I attack with Anna and Takumi kills Lucina, 25, so I deal 26 damage, that's lethal. Yes. Anna doesn't have Astra to kill Camilla in one hit. So I might have to do let's see. Attack. But then Takumi's in range of Tiki. 46 minus 21 oh, nice. is 25 damage, no double. I guess that's fine. So it's going to be Anna attacks, Takumi attacks, Corrin attacks, Takumi gets a sing and then attacks Camilla. Camilla dies and then Tiki attacks him once. Vengeance goes off, kills her next turn. She might survive though. 32, okay, let's see. Let's go. On it. What, was it, what did I say that the damage was? 46 minus 20, yes. 21 is 25 damage. 25 is 12 so he has he doesn't get a buff oh he does get a buff because corn's there so 51 plus 12 is 63 63 minus 32 is 31 minus 6 is 25 so she lives with 26 hp or uh 16 hp onward let's go what Oh, he doesn't have 51 attack. He didn't get a buff last turn. I actually made a mistake by putting Olivia up first and moving Takumi after, so he doesn't actually get 4 attack. Yes. And that leaves her with 1 HP, or 3 HP. Okay, new plan then. All that planning for nothing, because I, I screwed up last turn. Damn it, I, I really should keep them next to each other. I don't know why I didn't. It's like the number one rule of this game if you have buffs. Always keep them next to each other and I disobeyed it. Even new players know how to do that. Okay, so I poke with Takumi, sing for Anna, kill with Corrin. Now here's where it gets tricky. 49 okay. minus 32 is 17 times two, 34 damage. 
Camilla actually doesn't kill Corrin. Which means that Corrin can tank the attack. And I think it's fine. Wait a second. That doesn't work, does it? What is that order? Sing. Oh, I need to actually kill with Corrin, right? So, uh, 39 times 1.2 is... 46. It's probably 46. 46 minus 19 is... 27. That's definitely lethal. Okay. Wait. Can I... Can I kill this turn? Let's go. That doesn't do anything. On it. If I attack that tile... No, that doesn't actually do anything. So she just moves away. I think that's the only action I can take. Only reasonable action. Yes. So she got her teleport thing for nothing. It's still nice to have, though. Oh! You know what else I could have done? Attack with Takumi. Attack with Takumi. Leave her with 3 HP. Vantage kills. Let's go. No, but then she won't get Astra in time. Because Vantage goes off first and, and then kills. So she has one charge left when Camilla attacks. And Camilla will kill her. Damn it. I was hoping for some crazy plan, but it turns out it doesn't work out. Yes. Alright. Damn it. I always want to do some creative stuff, but things don't always work out the way you plan. Oh right, that also lowers attack, so 36. It's 5 less damage, so instead of hitting her 14-14, it's 9-9. Nine, nine. That's definitely not going to kill. Yes. Oh, it's 11-11. Right, it doesn't work that way. My path is certain. How much attack does she have? 36. 36 times 1.2 is 42. Is it? Wait, no. 43. 43 minus... Okay. 32 is 11, yeah, 11 times 2. So that that's how it works. It wasn't just flat minus 5. It doesn't work that way. Onward. All right. How much damage Here is that? 21 damage? Let's kill Camilla. Let's go. <sighs> now what? I can't get Corrin killed. I can't tank. Sure. I mean, technically I could tank, but I think I just kite back this turn. One, two, attack, attack. Let's go. All right. Yes. All right. There we go. That works. On it. Oh, she's going to have 1 HP after this, and then I can finish her off with Anna. Teleporting Anna attack. Beautiful. I'll shoot you down. S sure. Yes. Here comes the flying Anna. Onward. Oh, the flying Anna. 1 HP, 1 HP, epic battle. I could have vantage killed her too. That would have been really epic. Alright, Cordelia, final match of the day. Blue, blue. Anna can destroy these two really easily. Anna's gonna overkill Linda so badly. Okay. Oh, oh man, that's painful. Oh. Oh man, that's gonna be so painful. I think she's minus speed. Because I think mine is very similar to this. Is it minus speed? No, 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 no. Is it? I think it is, actually. I think she has 42 speed with plus speed. 
So it should be 39 with neutral and 36 with... I'll have to double check mine. 36. Plus attack, minus speed, I think. Oh wait, no! Minus, minus attack! Plus speed. Yeah, mine's minus attack plus speed. Oops. Okay, anyway, that's not important right now. What's important is... She deals... Really bad damage against Anna, and Anna yes. destroys her. So I want to see Anna destroying her. 36, doesn't double. No speed boosts. Oh, she gets a speed boost here. 39, doesn't really matter. Lance Breaker? Iota Shield, that doesn't do anything against me. I'm just gonna... Destroy you with Anna. So how does it work? Anna? Anna can't move there unless I dance for her, which means that she's gonna be out of position. Cordelia moves there, Anna goes 1-2 attack, and then I can't sing for her unless I move up 1 and then... Yeah, I can't actually sing properly for her, unless I move up here. I want to make sure I do this right, because this is going to be really flashy. I move here, I go like this, sing like this, and then she moves up, kills Linda, move up, sing, kills Cordelia, which means I need to take out Raven and Corrin next turn, but I don't know if I can. I think that's a bit too much to ask for. That's really, really greedy. I might have to take out Linda with Takumi to be safe. But let's give it a try, just in case. Okay. See how this goes. Let's go. Okay. So Corrin gives I'm her worried. a buff. What's the damage anyway? 49 minus 40%. It's uh let's just say it's nine damage times four, thirty-six. So she deals thirteen damage to Anna. Wait, that's not right. No, 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 that's, that's just... What the hell am I talking about? It's times 2. 9 times 2 is 18. 18 is 31. 31 minus 28 is 3 damage. 3 damage altogether against Anna. But yes. she gets Moonbow next turn. But she'll be dead next turn, I think. Buffs. Let's go. Buffs. Sing is ready. Let's see where they go. Oh, it's 2 damage. Hmm. Interesting. Reposition is interesting. That, that's a very interesting strategy. Anna moves up here. Cordelia hits for 46 minus uh, 9. So that's 37 damage. 37 minus 22 is... 37 minus 22 is 15 times 2. 39, 39, 30 damage and then 2 damage. Uh, 30 plus 2, 32 damage, so she gets in danger range. I'm okay with that. Onward. All right. Corrin dies. On it. Yeah, this is good. Yes. Linda was in, in safe range, but this will still end up being a, a double kill for me. And he can't do anything from there. Here I go. Cordelia is also not in range. Unless he repositions first, which he doesn't do it. If this were like actual PvP and not AI controlled, then the reposition would screw me really badly. Reposition, kill Corrin with Linda. Easy. Easy kill. But I don't think it's going to work that way. Or, or kill Olivia. They always reposition after. Oh my god. Oh, this is gonna be painful. More than you bargained for. Ouch. Yeah, so they always reposition after. It's kinda dumb, the AI, but whatever. Works out. How's this gonna work? They might be in an endless loop. If I do that, let's see. How am I gonna do this? I want Linda dead. I need Linda dead. Because she has Moonbow. She actually will kill me now. Because 30% less resist yes. is... 
uh, like nine damage less, and then I'll just die from that. Essentially, nine damage more. So the only way for me to win this is to kill Linda and then make sure that Takumi doesn't die to Raven. But he will die? Will he? 48. Damn, this Raven's really scary. 48 minus 25 is 23. So Takumi dies. Yeah. Yeah, she does die. Hmm. How do I kill... Okay. What if I reposition myself so I can assist? Corrin doesn't really assist, though. That's the problem. It's really awkward. The only way to survive is with her, All I think. Right. 48 minus 10%, 20% is, uh, 9. So 39. 39 minus 27. S sure. 39 minus 27 is 12, times 2 is 24. No Dragon Fang. Should be in range of that, right? She actually might be. No, she won't. Talk to me attacks from here. Olivia, oh, she will. Okay. 22 minus 39. 17 times 2 is lethal. Shit. So Olivia has to stand here. That doesn't work, though. Olivia has to be in range of Raven. Unless... No, Olivia is always in range of Raven. Okay, this is actually a problem, then. So, okay, let's try to just move out of range. If I move out of range, then maybe uh, they won't reposition spam. Linda will want to go this way, and Raven will, will want to go that way. So what do I do here? Let's go. All right. S sure. We separate them like this. Okay. That's not separating. That is definitely not separating. But this actually lets me kill, doesn't it? All right. Yeah, this this lets me kill. Okay. On it. Wait, what? Oh, shit. That's fine. Let's go. I forgot about Vantage, but that's fine. Yes. Stupid glass cannon. Shatter. I guess that would have always been the approach, huh? Maybe I should have thought of it that way. Use Takumi to kill, then use Anna to finish. That makes more sense. I could have done that last turn. It was Raven here, Linda here, right? Takumi moves up. Attack. Sing. Move up to here. That doesn't work, does it? No, it doesn't work. Yeah, that actually doesn't work. Okay, well, close enough. The point is that it worked out, and today went really smoothly. Uh, I don't think it's going to go this smoothly most of the time, at least half of the time. Because when I do off-stream battles, I get really stupid stuff too. Like, you saw stupid stuff yesterday too, getting trapped on a bridge and whatever. I mean, part of that was my fault too, and uh, I'm sure that stuff like that will happen eventually, inevitably even. Uh, but when that happens, it happens. Until then, though, let's just hope I don't run into that situation and I can end up with a high score. Higher score. Anyway, that's it for today. I'll be back tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.